The time has come to take on the vast ocean by yourself. As you flow with the currents, you pick off any plankton that come in your path, hoping you don't run into a death sentence. With no protection, there's not much you can do to stop it, hence the million eggs thing, but being translucent helps a bit. As the months go on, you convert more plankton into usable mussels. Being a male, it's not long till you reach the end of your larvae stage, going from a few millimetres long to a whopping two centimetres. You are now an adult deep sea anglerfish. The time has come for you to fulfil your life's only purpose. You begin the descent into the dark, cold abyss, your favourite place to be, eventually hitting six to 8,000 feet below surface. Well, this is what it looks like down here. No sunlight can get through, so it's complete and utter darkness. What on earth is that? Right. Okay. As I was saying, there's usually no way to see down here, but that wouldn't make for a very good video, so let's brighten it up a bit. Much better. That was the easy bit. Now you've got to find a needle in... the whole ocean. Using your highly sensitive specialised scent receptors, you try and pick up a trail that'll lead you to your target. To up the stakes, your digestive system degenerates, so you're on a ticking timer. This doesn't happen to every species, so guess you're the unlucky one. But that's okay. You can handle the pressure. After picking something up, you follow, keeping your eyes peeled for any further signs. Fortunately, you think you've managed to find what you're looking for. Wow. She's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. You head on over and introduce yourself by biting her belly and latching on. In some species, this is only temporary for mating, but not you. You release an enzyme that melts your face into the female's skin, fusing you both together. Your circulatory systems merge, so you can now leach all your nutrients from her blood supply. As the weeks pass, your eyes, fins, brain function and all your internal organs gradually degenerate. Except the important thing that distinguishes you as a male. At this point, it raises the philosophical question as to whether you even still exist. Are you still a separate animal, or just an organ? Have you become the female, or part of the female? I don't know, but for the sake of continuing the narrative, you are now a female deep-sea anglerfish. <laughs>